Hey guys, so um, I was intending on posting more last week and then I didn't because I had some personal life drama and that put me into a bit of a moment. So now I'm back. I am so just like lucky with the kind of job that I have where I can just have personal life drama and be like, I'm going to opt out of life for a bit. I will just sit this one out. You know what I mean? Anyway, subscribe to the bell icon for engagement. Let me actually make that sentence. Subscribe, hit that bell, like, comment for engagement. And let's get into it. I'm a bit late on this topic and I still want to discuss it because it's my favorite kind of drama It's my favorite kind of thing that I talk about which is just like petty TikTok tea If we put gate at the end of it DIY gate. What was the other one that we did? We did cake gate. We did tattoo gate. We did That's all I can think of right now. Today we have DIY gate, or if you wanna call it like interior design gate. <laughs> I don't know if that's equally as, you know, fun and fresh. This is happening between two different content creators. So there's Kareen Joy, Kareen, Kareen Joy. So we're gonna just call her Kareen. And we also have um, Tay Beep Boop. And by that, I mean Tay. So I'm just gonna call them Tay and Kareen. Tay and Kareen. They're both on around 2 million, like 1.5 to 2 million followers. So they're on very much an equal playing field. There is no like weird, you know, someone's on 20K followers, someone's on 2 million. They're on a pretty equal playing field. There's also a company in this, all of this called Otto Studio, who are like an interior design. They mainly do like wallpapers and stuff and you can design your own wallpapers with them. And it's high quality, renter friendly wallpaper shipping to a bunch of different countries. So if you guys want renter friendly, cute wallpaper to spruce up your house. I don't know about the quality of this. They haven't sponsored me to say this, but they looked quite cute. And they do sponsorships with different interior design people on TikTok to, I guess, have them design their own wallpaper. I think it's really cute. So Tay Beep Boop has a very, well, Tay and Kareen both have very eclectic styles when it comes to interior design, very kind of, it's giving slightly like 70s, colorful, retro-y type style. Don't ask me for actual specifics because this actually is in my style. And I mean, I love it on other people's houses. I just could never, my brain is too in like overdrive at, at all times. I need peace, I need quiet. You know, people like shit on minimalism and contemporary type houses and like modern new contemporary houses. I don't know why I needed to repeat that. I was looking for a different word. To me, those are quite nice quite perfect because they bring just like peace to my to my brain like if I sit there I can relax I still want cozy but obviously some of them are a little bit too cold like I think in Kardashian's house like I would actually lose my mind I would feel like I just got put into like solitary confinement like please put a blanket or two somewhere a little pillow something so I just need something in between you know something in between like I feel like Kim Kardashian's on like one extreme and they're on like the other extreme I just need somewhere like bang in the middle so I can have like cozy but also I don't want to have to focus on clutter sometimes it feels a bit cluttered when there's a lot going on anyway why don't I just go on this I don't know a lot about this style but I've been seeing the style so much I follow Lauren Gerardo and I feel like with her move to Miami she's definitely doing more of this style not as eclectic as these people but very much kind of that quirky mix of patterns colors style like it's just very like whoa a lot is happening but it kind of comes together into one whole thing and this house has been super popular lately and Tay does DIY so in her bio it says I do DIYs in my 120 year old home she literally shows you how she does these DIYs and like how you can copy her and she even ended up designing a cake wallpaper for Otto Studios which means she was putting it up for sale for other people to buy if they follow her or if they don't follow her this was just something that she put out saying, hey guys, I want you to have the same wallpaper as me. I also use this in my house. So clearly she's like okay with people copying her or having the same stuff as her because one, she shows the process of decorating her house. She shows every crack and crevice of her house. She also shows the DIY process of like how to do it step by step. She also has wallpaper in her house that she designed and it's now up for sale for other people to buy. You don't need to have like a link. It's not like unlisted. Anyone can buy this wallpaper. Well, not anymore. That's the tea and the drama of it all. Now we also have Corinne who is a DIY fiber artist and interior decorator. And she also has this eclectic style and some of the things, some of the ideas overlap. Some Sometimes I, I see some things that are super popular like color combinations or patterns or whatever. So I actually saw this first happening on Twitter. Someone said, I don't know if you guys are getting this TikTok interior design drama on your For You page, but these women are beefing about truly the ugliest interiors I've ever seen, which I mean, 
personal opinion. Sometimes I think there is just a lot going on in these houses, but I don't like to discuss people's personal stuff. And then someone quotes me to it and said, TikTok really shows how weird it can be sometimes because that lady blatantly copies her and has nearly 2 million followers. I'd be upset too. But they were on there saying she's a weirdo for defending her work. Now, people in the replies let them know their thoughts. Well, someone agreed and said, right, it's not just, oh, it's DIY, right? But say where you got the idea from if you're going to copy every single thing and make a video about it every time. I could understand a one-off DIY, but she's literally changing her entire house to be the same as the girls. That's fucking weird. But someone else said, someone posted receipts and a lot of the stuff she's claiming that lady copied, the lady actually posted slash did first, aside from the wallpaper that she literally sells. So she is weird. And people posted how one, a lot of the things that she says that were copied, because that's the allegation, let me, before I get into it, here is the video that she posted about how she feels like she is being copied uh, with evidence. I'm about to be so petty and I've never done something like this before, but there is a large creator who is just getting out of hand. So this is my mossy mirror that I made and immediately she makes this which is like fine, that's what the coincidence, whatever. Um, I have this green squiggle art gallery and now she does too. The difference is she's hanging something else. So that's different, that's creative. Um, but she's also ripping off my boyfriend's art. So that's my boyfriend's art. I have a monster head art gallery. He makes monster heads. They're so realistic and beautiful. This is her version. This is her monster head art gallery. Then I painted my room green and blue. They're very abnormal color choices and I got a lot of hate for it, but I really love it and I spent months choosing the colors. Look at what colors she's doing for her kitchen and she's painting her appliances. Um, so that's just like another weird coincidence and she hung up this cake wallpaper. That just happens to be my actual wallpaper line that I have. Look at this photo, orange couch, wallpaper, monster head art gallery. That orange couch is literally the knockoff of my orange couch and that's my wallpaper which is fine anyone can buy it um i also created a gradient room where my whole room is gradients and then she decided to make an ombre room strange coincidence i have tried to talk to her about this and i was like please stop copying me and now a lot of people have said posting evidence one saying that either the ideas aren't that original, they're just coming up with this new style. So like when contemporary and modern was happening, right? And every house looked the same, the blocky kind of infinite pool block cement looking house with just like glass everywhere. Like no one was like, oh my God, you're copying my infinite pool. Like that's just kind of how every house was being built. And because this is like the new it style, kind of, it's like a niche it style. People are gonna overlap. Ideas are gonna overlap. Color schemes are gonna overlap things are going to overlap, right? Second of all, they've also shown how uh, sometimes Corinne would actually end up doing it first, uh, but no one like realized. And three, sometimes it was suggestions that her commenters would give her. So she would be like, oh, I really messed up on this project. How can I fix it? And they would be like, oh, put some like moss on it or painted this color. And then she would just do it and be like, oh, thanks guys. It looks really good. But like it was people telling her to do it. Um. So I'm getting like a lot of DMs and comments and stuff and I haven't seen this video um, because she posted it and then blocked me. So I don't really know what's being said about me, but I know I'm getting like a lot of really mean and hateful like comments and messages now. <sighs> and I'm like not going to be, I'm not going to come on here and like cry and be like feel sorry for me. But I'm, I guess I'm just like really disappointed because I really genuinely like this creator and she was like one of the first people I followed on here that I was really like, wow, like this decor style is so cool. It is so colorful and so fun and just really encouraged me to like actually express myself. And um, we have talked over message and stuff and like she was so nice and and about two months ago she did ask me not to do any of her DIYs which like I totally understood and I was like that's totally fine like I really do get it um and it was just like a really pleasant interaction like I said she was so nice and I didn't know like we had issues or that she was feeling like this but I will say like we have very similar styles like I love her I'm so inspired by her and I think it's so crazy to say that no one else can decorate like in color 
or have similar colors to you and it automatically being me like maliciously copying her I just wish she had come to me privately like I'm so frustrated like I don't even know what's being said about me I have lots of squiggles in my home that was inspired from her I absolutely loved it and I think to be like a content creator on here, some of that comes with if you're branding yourself as a DIY channel, do this yourself. Here's how I did it. Here's the links for the supplies. And then to say no one can be inspired off of you is just wrong. And then to like publicly shame someone for being inspired by you without them even knowing you have any issues is just so wrong. I won't say like I'm not in the wrong anywhere because I'm sure that I am, but I think it's very clear that my intent is not just to copy and rip this creator off. And there are going to be people that continue to grow on this app with that same style, with my same style too, because we're our whole platform is encouraging other people to do the same thing. I don't know. I'm just really disappointed and frustrated with this whole situation and now I have just like hateful comments everywhere, so. After this, people really started slating Tay for being like, oh, you think you're like special, that people want to copy your style. And they were going off. So she posted an apology video. My behavior has been wild and inappropriate. And I apologize, it's taken me so long to realize that. I didn't think I had done anything wrong, genuinely. I admit that for days. And I didn't want to be fake and give an apology that I didn't actually believe. I'm grateful for some of the hate and the criticism that I've gotten because it's helped to give me the perspective and understanding that I clearly needed. Because I did not understand. Everyone draws inspiration from somewhere and the fact that I went after someone who has been nothing but nice to me and has done nothing to deserve what I did just proves how much I got this wrong. I love this DIY colorful community, truly. And there is space for everyone. And me trying to drag someone down who is a part of that is awful and not who I want to be. Karin has been nothing but gracious and kind to me throughout this whole thing. But also before this, and it proves like how wrong I got it. And I've been speaking with her directly because she's owed a direct apology as well as a public one. But she just instantly is so generous with her words to me in explaining things. And I don't deserve it and I'm very appreciative. So basically hold me accountable for my behavior and bad actions because this has been a massive learning moment for me and I have plenty more to grow and learn from. Again, I'm so sorry to Karin and also everyone that this has affected because I did not think about my actions and how this would hurt others. And it's also because Otto, who are the uh, wallpaper company, they posted a statement saying, as a small business, we strive to support and uplift artists, creators, and DIYers. We are disappointed in and do not stand behind the video that was posted by Tay Beep Boop regarding Corinne Joy earlier this week. It goes against our values and the ethos of the DIY community. I'm sorry, if you're posting DIYs for people, step-by-steps, do you not expect them to follow the step-by-step -step and get the same result? As such, effective immediately, the Tay Beep Boop collections will no longer be available for purchase. We will be reaching out to those who have pending orders from these collections with the next steps. And when Corinne first bought Tay's wallpaper, she added Otto Studio, and in the comments was Tay Beep Boop, Say, I'm installing more at Otto Studios this week, ah ha ha. And Corinne says, this design is perfection. Otto Studios says, it looks so cute with the little orange couch. So Kelly Tay was okay with it until she noticed that Corinne's account was blowing up. And then she suddenly wasn't okay with it. So under Tay's apology video, people are saying, I'm so glad you helped me discover Corinne because I love her home and decor. To Lake Corella, her profile pic is giving sour by Olivia Rodrigo. I hope she credited her. Six out of 10, needs a ukulele. I love when dramas overlap. I'm just very sad for your plant on the left. 
the way I ran to these comments. Honestly, this whole drum was so juicy. I loved every minute. I was gonna ask where you got the squishy cube, but then I remembered what started it all. Um, hey, I want to get my right nostril pierced. Can I do that or do I need your permission? And it's just kind of like, where is the line between original ideas and blatantly copying someone versus one, getting inspiration, two, doing things that are just simply trendy. Like if I go cut a fringe in, let's say I've cut my fringe in, and then someone else goes and cuts their fringe in, are they copying me or are fringes just kind of popular right now? Do you guys know what I mean? Like, where is the line? between all of that. Now, another TikToker called Adelina's Cozy Life, she was Tay's old friend, like ex-friend. She posted a TikTok. I'm gonna play it for you guys at some point. I am so glad that I'm not the only person that thought that video was insane when they saw it. As someone that used to live with Taylor and has known her since high school, I just want Karen to know that she has nothing to worry about. Taylor is upset with you because she thinks you saw her ideas, took them, and got popular on TikTok because of them. Well, do I have a story for you. Remember her first video that got her TikTok famous? She got the idea from a TikTok video. And she figured out how to shape it from my cousin. But shockingly, it doesn't stop there. Because she actually gets a lot of her ideas from her friends. Which is normally totally fine and cool. Because that's part of the design process. So don't let her make you feel bad for extrapolating on other people's ideas. Especially because she doesn't even give anyone credit. And guess what? I made a foam mirror. She made a foam mirror. I moved into the woods and had my first TikTok go viral. She decorated her new bedroom in a completely out of character style, which reminds me more of what my room looked like in her apartment than what her typical style is, but is most obviously inspired by her new best friend Danny's style. I was there when she traced the lines for her ceiling, for her art. I was there for all of it. The point I'm trying to make is that social media is all about building off of each other's ideas and that is exactly how Taylor started too and how she's built what she has so far. Her tiki bar was designed and thought of by her boyfriend along with a lot of other creative ideas because he's a really creative guy. Taylor ordered a purse that was designed like a fake cake and no doubtedly that inspired her wallpaper. She's acting like she invented that style but she really just took something that was already popular on Pinterest and made it into a wallpaper. And that is making her fans feel bad for buying and using her products. And none of this is even touching on the fact that she is telling everyone that she grew up in poverty. This is a quick refresher. Poverty's pretty serious. But everybody that grew up with Taylor knows that she has a beach house, she went to a private school, and both of her parents were judges. There is nothing wrong with what you did, Karen, and it is absolutely no different than what Taylor does. Uh, but she has deleted it now and in the caption of that TikTok it said this isn't very cozy life of me but I had to speak up I've never met anyone in my life that talks more shit than Tay Beep Boop and I'm tired of her making everyone feel small I'm not going to get into why we aren't friends anymore because that is unnecessary but don't let her do it to you please keep doing what you're doing and F it Keep doing her DIYs too. Isn't that supposedly why she's posting them so that people can do them? Also newsflash, dinosaur heads are not monster heads and I've seen people do framed animal heads hundreds of times for children's rooms. So she did not invent that. And essentially what Adelina said was that Tay claims to have like come from deep, deep poverty and use that as like um, a come up type of thing. Turns out her parents are like kind of rich, like at least middle class, but probably upper class. Wow, I guess that's it. So yeah, um, that's the DIY drama. It was much shorter than like Tattoo Gate and Cake Gate, but it's still interesting nonetheless. Uh, let me know what you guys think about any of this. Do you think Korean was copying Tay? Do you think Tay had every right to be angry? Do you think Tay stepped over some boundaries here? Because like, let me know, subscribe, hit the bell, like comment for engagement, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.